Yorubans are some of the richest tribes in Nigeria. In this video, I shall be sharing with you the top 10 richest Yoruba men in Nigeria and their network. Towards the end of this video, I shall be unveiling to you the network of the richest Yoruba man alive and how many state civil servant salary he can pay comfortably. At number 10, we have Afolabi Adola. Afolabi Adola is a co-founder and the managing director of Garati Trust Bank GTP. Afolabi Adola, who is 67 years old, was born on January 10, 1954 in Nigeria. He has accomplished various achievements, including being the first chairman of the National Pension Commission and serving director of the UTC PLC, among other notable accomplishments. He currently has an estimated net worth of $85 million. Michael Adeojo is a businessman and the CEO of Elizade Motors Limited. It does not stop there. He is also the owner of Elizade University, located in Ono State, Nigeria. Michael Adeojo has kept his net worth on a low key and making it a bit difficult to ascertain his actual net worth. Based on deep research carried out by our team of experts, we were able to peg his net worth at the range of $200 million and above. Oba Oba Teru Akinuto is the ruler of Ubo in Ondo State. Besides his royal role, he is also a Nigeria businessman who started Oba Petroleum, a prominent private oil trading company in Nigeria. The king, who is a former military officer, was born in the year 1950. He is the eighth richest Yoruba man alive. In few seconds, I shall be disclosing to you his huge net worth. But before then, don't forget to hit the subscription button and like this video. The king, who owns a shoe made of diamond, which comes at a cost of a million dollars, has an estimated net worth of $300 million. Oladele Fajemarokun is a well-known businessman in Nigeria. He is the founder of Ico Insurance, a reputable insurance company in Nigeria. Additionally, he serves as the chief executive officer and chairman of Harry Stephen Group, also known as XHS Nigeria Limited. Born on April 16, 1950 in Ondo State, Nigeria, Oladele has an impressive background. He attended Boluju Grammar School in Ondo State, Nigeria and later completed his BSc degree in Business Economy from Obafemi Awolowo University in Nigeria. He is the seventh richest Yoruba man with an estimated net worth of $500 million. Chief Samuel Adedoin, an entrepreneur and industrialist, is the person behind the creation of Doin Group of Companies. This group is involved in exporting various products such as seed, ginger, cashew nuts, and more. Born on December 4, 1935 in Agbamu, Kwara State, Nigeria, Chief Samuel is actively engaged in philanthropic endeavors, generously donating on a yearly basis with the less privilege in his state in Nigeria as a whole. He received his education at St. Paul Primary School in Agbamu, Kwara State, Nigeria. The billionaire industrialist with thousands of employees in his payroll is worth an estimated $540 million. Oba Otudeko is a well-known business tycoon in Nigeria, holding the position of the fifth richest Yoruba man among the top 10 richest Yoruba men in Nigeria. Have you ever heard about Honeywell noodles? This product comes from a company he established. He is both the founder and chairman of Honeywell Group. Oba Otudeko earned a bachelor's degree of art and science degree after graduating from Leeds College of Commerce. He also holds a doctorate degree for Olabisi Onambajo University. Additionally, he founded the Oba Otudeko Foundation and previously served as the chairman of FBN Holding. The billionaire whose birth took place on August 18, 1948 in Ibadan Oyo State, Nigeria, has a gigantic net worth of $650 million. Tunde Falawiyo is a well-known businessman in Nigeria and is ranked as the fourth richest Yoruba man in the country. Tunde Falawiyo serves as the managing director of Yinka Falawiyo Group, a company that engages in various sectors including shipping, agriculture, real estate, and energy. He was born on April 12, 1960 in Lagos State, Nigeria. His late father, the late Wahab Iyanda Falawiyo, was also a prominent businessman 
and one of the richest rubber men during his lifetime. Bunde Folawiyo pursued his education at the London School of Economic and Political Science as well as the University College, London. His net worth is estimated to be around $650 million. Jimo Ibrahim stands as the third richest Yoruba man in Nigeria. He is a politician, businessman, and a lawyer as well. Jimo Ibrahim is also recognized for his philanthropic effort, generously contributing to improve the life of less fortunate Nigeria. Born on February 24, 1967, in Ondo State, Nigeria, Jimo Ibrahim holds the position of the chairman and chief executive officer at Global Feed Group. He is also the owner of Nikon Investment Limited. Additionally, he also serves as the chairman of the Corporate Affairs Commission. For his education, Jimo Ibrahim attended various universities and schools, including Obafemi Awolowo University, Harvard Law School, University of Cambridge, and Oxford University. Jimo Ibrahim, who is now a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has an estimated net worth of $1.1 billion. Femi Otedola is an investor and businessman who started Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited, a company that deals with fuel and petroleum distribution in Nigeria. He used to be the owner and chairman of Fort Oye PLC, but later sold the company to pursue a different business plan. Femi Otedola was born on November 4, 1962 in Nibadon, Oyo State, Nigeria. Interestingly, he is also the father of DJ Kupi, a popular Nigerian female DJ. His education took place at Olivet Baptist High School in Oyo and he graduated from Obafemi Awolowo University in Nigeria. Femi Otedola, whose father was a former governor of Lagos State, has an estimated net worth of $1.9 billion. Mike Adenuga, also known as Chief Michael Adeni and Denuga Jr., hold the title of the wealthiest Yoruba man in Nigeria. His net worth can change the life of a full state in Nigeria. Towards the end of this video, I shall be disclosing his network to you, which will surprise you. He is widely recognized as a prominent businessman and investor within Nigeria. Michael Adenuga is the visionary behind Globalcom, which stands as the second largest telecommunication operator in Nigeria. Notably, Globalcom is the biggest indigenous telecommunication operator in Nigeria. His company, Globalcom Limited, extends its service across Nigeria, Ghana, Benin Republic, and several other African nations. Chief Mike Adenuga claimed the position of the Nigeria's second richest man, and his wealth is further attributed to his involvement in oil and gas production, where he serves as the chairman of Corn Oil. He claimed the position of the richest Yoruba man with a staggering net worth of $7.2 billion. According to Economist, the billionaire can comfortably pay civil servants in seven states for years without going broke. If you want to know about the top 10 richest men from Ogu State and their net worth, click the video that appears on the screen.